Hey y'all, it's your girl Jamila from Color Me Crafty and Buy Pink, and I'm back with another tutorial. In today's episode of Jamila Just Be Doing Stuff, you're gonna learn how to take acrylic paints to make a fabric dye that you can use then to tie dye or dye your whole garment or... Hey y'all, it's your girl Jamila from Color Me Crafty and Buy Pink, and I'm back with another tutorial. In today's episode of Jamila Just Be Doing Stuff, you're going to learn how to take acrylic paints to make a fabric dye that you can use then to tie dye or dye your whole garment or do a scrunch dye, kind of like I did here. And once it was completely done, I added final and you can grab these files free on my blog. Before I get y'all started on this little gem, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. And if you have, drop the girl a comment and go ahead and hit the thumbs up. All right, let's get into it. You're going to need a bowl or Cover your table in plastic, a hanger, a white shirt, vegetable glycerin, something to mix in, paint, and a spray bottle and gloves. The first thing you do is mix your, mix your glycerin one part glycerin to five parts water, and I have pre-mixed mine here. And then you want one part this mixture to one part paint. I have a little two ounce bottle here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do one ounce. And with this stuff, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm doing one ounce, which is about half of my bottle of the glycerin mixture. And then I am gonna do one ounce of my apple barrel paint. And completely optional when you're done with your shirts, you can add vinyl. I'm gonna add vinyl to these. So once you have your mixture in your bottle, go ahead and shake it up. Shake it very well. I probably should have put my gloves on before, but get your gloves on and using your bowl or the table, I like to use the bowl. I'm just gonna take your shirt and put it in and scrunch it up. And then take your spray. Spray all over the shirt. Making sure to try to cover all of the white spots that you see. Then you're gonna carefully flip it over, keeping it scrunched, and spray the other side. And this is on a dry shirt. I remember I only had two ounces of liquid. <clears throat> Once you're satisfied with your spray, take your hanger and put it in the shirt and let it hang until it's completely, completely dry. After you're done hang drying and you want it to be completely dry, you're gonna first throw it in the dryer to heat set it on a full cycle. And once the dryer stops, you can take them out and throw them in the wash. I just used a quick wash. Once you, your wash cycle is done, throw them in the dryer to dry them again. And you can add vinyl or you can stop there. They're really cool, even if this is the look you want.
Once you have all your vinyl weeded, you can go ahead and press it onto your shirts. I think they all turned out very, very cool. And I believe that the kids are gonna love them, especially the things that they say. I made SVG files to fit each of their personality. I have three girls, ages 11. Well, three girls at home. I have a total of six kids um, combined with my husband, but they are ages 11, 10, and nine. So. They all have very different personalities. They're fun though. Love my babies. And I'm using glitter HTV or glitter iron on. I use the Cricut brand for the blue, I'm sorry, for the red and the purple. And I have so many problems when I try to weed it. So I think with the Cricut brand, I need to be cutting on more instead of just the default. But um, the blue one is Sizer Easy Weed and no issues at all with that. I'm just using one of my Cricut coasters to pull the heat out of this Cricut vinyl. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, you can really come up with some cool color combinations. You can do more than one color. I just chose all of their favorite colors for this. But before you go, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a tutorial. I post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays now, so make sure you're following.